Okay, good morning. Today we talk about the present and past tenses. In this first slide, you can see that the present simple may be used mainly for routines. So something I do uh, regularly, for example, I get up at, I go to school, I go to work, I usually play basket, I normally spend my time with. Or for universal and scientific truth. Uh, for example, water boils at 100 degrees. Or uh, in the year we have four seasons in winter, in summer, in autumn, or when we talk about human life, for example, uh, a man is first a child and he grows up and then he, he becomes a teenager and then an adult man. So they are scientific universal truths. Or for public timetables, you see that it, it has to be public, so it doesn't depend on me, but it is the school timetable or the train timetable, the bus, the time of cinemas, of movies, uh, theater, etc. Then we have the present continuous. When do we use the present continuous? Mainly for action in progress, something I'm doing right now. So when the work is in progress, I'm running, she's playing basket. Or when the actions are happening for a limited period of time. For example, I normally live in, but in this week I'm staying in Rome. This week I'm staying in London. This year I'm attending a guitar course. Or to talk about personal scheduled event or program also in the future. So if I got on my personal uh, uh, diary uh, meeting with a friend or something I um, have to do, I can say I'm having, uh, for example, uh, a pizza with friends this evening at 8. Next week, I'm leaving at 8 in the morning to go to Milan. Then, let's see to the past, let's go to the past simple. Past simple needs, always needs action in a period, specified period of time. So we have yesterday, last year, when I was a child, one, two, twenty years ago, in 1998, okay, and we normally have when, or we also find a go, and it indicates that it we have to use the past simple. Past continuous, when the action is in progress in a specific past period. So I have to say last week, yesterday, one year ago, I was singing, I was reading um, a book. Or when more actions uh, takes, take place contemporarily. For example, while John was riding his bike, Mark was skating and the other friends were singing. Um, when an action in progress is interrupted by another action. For example, while I was studying, the telephone rang. Okay, so we normally find in this context the word when or while, okay, to indicate that something happened um, to interrupt something else. Okay, thank you for your attention.